This is the Action Movie Guys Podcast. Bringing you action movie reviews from across the decades. Plus box office numbers and insight like never before. And now your hosts of the Action Movie Guys Podcast, Alex and Nate. What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode number 364 of the Action Movie Guys podcast. I'm your host, Nate, and this is my co-host, Alex Figueroa. And on this episode, we're kicking off a new month, Alex. It's June. It's time to start a new actor-themed month. And this one, we're going to be doing some Jet Li films. Now, as far as Jet Li, we did Lethal Weapon 4. We Mm -hmm. did War with Jason Statham. I'm trying to Cradle to the Grave. Cradle to the Grave. That was a Patreon pick. And that's about it, right? Expendables. Yeah, he is in Expendables. But as far as Jet Li movies, I think only three. Like, that are like... No, not even... I wouldn't even say Lethal Weapon's a Jet Li movie. Two, I think, that are like Jet Li movies. We're going to be doing four of them this month. And kicking it off is the one that sort of put him on the map here in the States as far as a lead, like a lead actor. And that is a little movie called Black Mask. Now, we got to talk about this before we get into the review. Let me ask you first. Have you had you ever seen this movie prior to this review? No. And I never heard of it. (laughs) Never so <laughs> didn't even know it was a movie. I had no yeah, idea. No. Okay, so Black Mask. I remember this movie because it came out when I was in like. Well, so okay, this movie was made in 1996. There are many different versions of this movie. They were like sent all over oh. the globe. Okay. Like different cuts with different stuff in it. It was made in 96, came out in China, was a hit. Artisan Entertainment, I don't know if you remember them. Artisan Entertainment, you probably saw them. Yeah. Their logo on a movies in the 90s. They are now, Lion, oh, they got bought out by Lionsgate. So Lionsgate now owns like their back catalog. Okay, Artisan got a hold of this movie and they said, you know, we're going to do a US release. This was in 1999, three years after the movie came out. So it wasn't even a new movie anymore. And they did it with an English dub. So there was, when it came out here, they it was not available in the original language. It was only dubbed. Also, they changed all the music in the movie to a hip hop like soundtrack. Mm. Okay. So this uh, had regular movie music before this edition. And that's the one me and Alex are going to be reviewing for you, by the way. We're going to be reviewing the like US yeah. version because Release. that's the one he has the, the Blu-ray with all the versions. The one I have, the I have the Lionsgate one, and that's the only one on there. There's only one. So that's kind of the journey. And I remember this movie came out when I was just about like to go into high school. So like all my friends were like, Black Mad. Like it was one of those movies that like, it was cool to watch. You know what I mean? Like Blade, I think it came out. Blade was ninety. Yeah, I can so, see that. Yeah. yeah, and it was like, oh, it's it's violent. It's got like martial arts. <laughs> so, but I had never seen it. This was my first time watching it. So, so we're gonna be covering Black Mask from nineteen ninety six slash nineteen ninety nine. Neither of us have seen it. Alex has never heard of it. Before we do, let me give you some Rotten Tomato scores. This is incredible. This is incredible Rotten Tomato scores. One of the rare ones. You know, this doesn't happen too often. The same exact score from both audiences and critics. Even more incredible. They're both right in the middle. 50 a 50%. So literally half of the critics who reviewed this thing did not like it and half did. And half of the audience did not like it and half did. So you can't even make this up. A very surprising <laughs> score, in my opinion. Like to both be right at 50 is kind of weird. It is. I never seen that before. 50, is, I think it's the first time we have 50. A double the number 50. 50. Yeah, like a, f- a spot yeah. on 50. Yeah. Usually it's like I agree. 53, 47, and we just round. No, 50. 50. All right. So with that being said, this is a 50-50 movie. Okay. Could go either way. Alex could love it. I could hate it. I could love it. Alex could hate it. I have no idea. Yeah. We don't talk about things like this before we start. At most, we'll say, oh, I started watching it. The opening's cool. And that's it. We don't say nothing else. But I don't remember that happening when we watch this movie. Just that you <laughs> found so. the, hip-hop, the hip-hop music. I was trying to tell him, watch the one with the hip-hop music. That's the yeah. one I watched. All right. Let's get into it. So this is another one where like the character names are are weird because in the original version they had different names his name is kevin and then and they also call him something else simon, simon or yeah. michael they also call him yeah. michael so i'll we'll right, go with simon we'll call him yeah we'll call him yeah. simon all right what did you think of simon gently okay so like nate said in the beginning so what happened was when we okay so let's give people <laughs> let's give More people context, context. yeah So we were supposed to record this a few days ago. There's no digital versions of this movie anywhere. So Nate was like, why don't you get the new US release of it? So I said, cool. When it arrived, they came with two discs with like eight different versions of this movie. (laughs) (laughs) So I told Nate, what's the version? He goes, the 90 minute one. And it's kind of hard because they all are in the the 90s bracket Ah, from 90 to 99. And I was like, okay. He was like, the one with the hip hop. And I was like, shit, now I got to put every movie on (laughs) until I find hip hop in the title. But we kind of figured that 
it out because one thing they did do smart, and I will say, when you put in the Blu-ray, it says the original name of it. In the bottom, it says U.S. release Oh. dubbed version Perfect. and then it says US release music and dubbed version so I went oh I guess it's the one with the music <laughs> and the, yeah gotta be so I guess it has the original version with the original music but oh. with the English dubbed well, that's kind of so, cool that, that release is kind of cool that is pretty cool and that's what I was going to tell you the other disc comes with the Korean version and the director's cut oh. version and I was like man for anyone that's a fan of Jet Li or whatever I highly recommend it I paid $33 I think for it you just like, um, it's worth First, it if you it's love worth it. Black Mask. Yeah, if you like the movie Black Mask, then it's very worth it. Okay. If you don't, then don't spend the thirty dollars. I had to spend the thirty three dollars because it's the only way I could get my hands on it. <laughs> but I'll tell you yeah. if it's worth it okay. in terms of the movie. So with that said, let's get to it. Lead character Simon Jet Li. I liked his character. His character is pretty cool. He's a librarian as a secret identity. He's a librarian, but then he's like a super soldier, yeah. right? Like it's weird. He's a super soldier that goes undercover. Like he's he like doesn't want to do it. No more. Super soldier. Yeah. Who has to come out of retirement. Yeah, for some some pair something. reason to help his cop friends and this movie is very, and I'm going to say it right now, I was confused throughout the whole movie. <laughs> and the problem is, is that the subbed was not as good. Mm. Not as good. It made me even question, and I was really lost going, what is going on? Like, very technology, like yeah. super futuristic. And then I'm like, well, how are they super futuristic in a modern world? Like, it didn't give me that much. Maybe they could elaborate more than I could, but I am not, I was just lost. I was like, what is this? <laughs> It's a. <laughs> I was, dude. I was like, "What is going? Like, what? Who is this guy?" First of all, I like that he's a superhero, right? They created this new superhero, yeah. right? He looked like he has a cardboard mask spray painted gray. That's what it looks like. It's inspired by the <laughs> Kano mask from a Green Hornet. Okay, so yeah. I kind of figured that's so what it's called. What it a domino with. mask. That's what it's called. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So anyway, Simon, I liked him. I thought he was pretty cool. He has a friend in the in the in the police force that knows how to fight and stands up for him because he doesn't know who he is and then figures it out that he is the black mask yeah. then he has his girlfriend slash sister i think it's his sister that had the red hair remember they were fighting they, they she were stabs together, him? they were in the program together oh okay the and then he soldier. let her go but he didn't She's let her fine. go and then. that one's <laughs> That's the girl from Rumble in the Bronx. Really? I that, think that I remember I liking you. your sister in Rumble from the Bronx. No, you did like her. You okay. said she was hot. She, she's she hot was in this, the, she's hotter the, in this movie. Yeah, she was because she's older. So I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, she was hot in this movie. Yeah. Okay, so in terms of Jackie, uh, uh, Jackie Chan, in terms of Jet Li, honestly, the character is a good superhero character. He has a secret identity. He's a librarian, which is pretty cool. After that, he is the black mask and he beats people's asses. <laughs> That's a plus. Yeah. And then throughout there, he has friends that he cares for and doesn't want to get hurt. I mean, it's pretty much like a superhero movie. Yeah. And he has a friend in the police force. And one of my favorite scenes is when the cop is doing, first of all, very unique with a bomb inside the human body. Oh, and he's yeah. like, don't mess with the wires. And he's like clicking that. He's like, how do you know? He's like, you don't want me to get out. <laughs> and it was like, boom. Yeah. Very dope. I said, you know what? That is really cool. I'm going to give the character a four. Mm. I think he was great. Mm. I'm not going to give him a perfect because I really don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> <laughs> throughout the movie. All I know is hip hop music in the beginning where he's getting tortured or putting the him in the super soldier serum, whatever. Yeah. Like the music I, that's almost all I know, never matches what's happening. It on did not match. Ever. I hated it. Yeah, it was horrible. Bad choice in there, but anyway, I gave it a four. All right. I gave it the same score. I also gave him a four. I like him. So as far as the character, he they implant these things in their I don't know, their neck or something like that. And it makes them like super. And what really is super about them more even like they can't feel pain. So yeah. They're good for, they're trained, they're highly trained, and then, like, they don't feel pain. So, like, if they're fighting, even if you do hit them, they, it doesn't really affect them at all. That's him. He gets out of the, so they're gonna, okay, I'll try to explain as best as I, <laughs> I will so try hard. to explain as best as I understood it. The government's gonna shut down the program, the sides to yeah. shut down the program, they're killing, like, they're taking the thing out and, like, killing them. So, the leader of them, who's ultimately, like, the, the ends the up being a villain guy. in this movie, yeah, which we're gonna talk about in a second, and and then uh, it takes some of them. They kind of go like underground. Jet Li just escapes. He like escapes. That opening scene is like him escaping from, from there. Okay. And then he kind of just lives a normal life. He becomes, like you said, he's like works in a library. He makes friends with the uh, with the other girl, with his friends. They have like a little birthday party, you know, whatever. He's ha <laughs> living life. Then people start committing these crimes and he figures out it's the super soldier peep, his old crew. Yeah. So he comes out of retirement as a super soldier, wears a mask and fights against them. That's in the nutshell. That's like, that's the story. Yeah. Line. 
Okay, there's other stuff that happens, but... And then the cop is trying to help solve the crimes while not knowing he's the Black Mask. All right, um, but I gave him a four. I thought he was a good character as far as this kind of movie goes. Uh, I thought his performance was good. I like Jet Li in this. Yeah. I thought he was good. I wish... It, uh, this dub is horrible. You're right. I it's wish I could bad. just listen to him talk normal. I would have rather... This is one of the scenarios, again, where I would have rather read it <laughs> than listen to this. I agree with you. Garbage. Yeah. yeah, it was really bad. Like, it was so over the top. All the... Especially the girl. I'm like, what is this? This is a, this is a goofy movie too. Uh, anyway, well, yeah. I gave him a four. I gave him a four. You gave him a four. I liked the lead character. He was cool. All right. Now, the main villain. Who the freak was this guy? His got long hair. I, I So I don't know anyone's name. I don't know which one he is. I don't know which one he is. He's the guy with the long hair. I'll just let you take it. I'll look for it while you talk about the main villain, and I'll try to figure out which one he is on this list. Anthony King Wong Cole. as King yeah. Cow. King Cow. There, there you go. go. King Cow. Okay, what do you think of him? King Cow. What's okay? I think it was cool. I mean, they fought at the end. Yes. They had a pretty good battle at the end. I'm not going to lie. But it felt very, again, it felt very Johnny mnemonic meets superhero, but really bad. Like, it's weird because, right, like, like the scene that he, I thought it was a cool way they did it, but I just, I was still lost because I was like, where the hell, we are, what am I watching style? When when he locked them all in the car and then he, he was in the screen. I thought that was really creative. I don't oh, know why. when he's talking with them, with him and yeah. the girl. And then the little thing was like, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I thought that was pretty great. I was like, that's a pretty creative thing, like a, a fake hologram, but using the screen. So I was like, that's pretty cool. But I don't, I, I, uh, I gave him a three because he fought. But other than that, what more can I say? I mean, he did kill his friend, yeah. the hot chick. I don't know if she was dead or not because she fell off the whatever when they were fighting on the scalpel thing. But they, she got shot just to draw him out because I think that's what they wanted to, to draw him out because he was like the best of the best. Yeah. But yeah, I, I didn't care for him much, but he did, 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 they did do a good fight. I, I'll say that that was a good fight at the end. So I give him a three for that. Okay, fighting. You're right. I was uh, I was struggled here because I think he looks ridiculous. Okay, he looks like a vampire. Oh, yeah. I don't know what the design was here, but he looks like the Lord of the Night vampire. He's wearing a, like a long <laughs> coat. He's always wearing shades. He has long hair. He's like he yeah. lives. It looks like he lives in a sewer. I'm like, what is? Where are we? Why? Why are we in a sewer of some sort? I mean, I get it. They're underground, but they didn't have to literally be underground. It was weird. So like he has like a lair. He looks like a vampire. And I'm like, this is bizarre. So I hated the way I hated the design of the character, the look of the character. I hate the way he talked. The my struggle was that. He's a technically he's a good bad guy. Like he does a lot of bad stuff. Pretty much like a terrorist type guy. He has a bunch of henchmen and he does fight. He does fight and the fight goes on for more than two minutes. Like they, yeah. they you know, he was holding his own for a long time. So I ultimately landed on a three as well. I thought as far as these kind of movies go, he was fine. Like he was a fine villain. Nothing more. Like I don't really know his total plan, which that hurts. You know, like I, I don't know what, what's yeah. his goal. I have no idea. Are they ever going to come out from underground? Like you just want to live under there and be rich. Like what, what good is money if you live in a sewer? I don't understand. So I don't really know what they're trying to do all the way. So yeah, I gave him a three. All right, let's talk about the action scenes. What'd you think of the action? <laughs> the action scenes were great. It was over the top. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It was over the top action. There's a lot of stuff that you're like, what? Like in the beginning when they're shooting at him and he grabbed, I don't know how he got in the cage. <laughs> he oh, had to get one guy it? and all of a sudden, yeah, he just jumped into a cage. Sequence was dope. I was like, no sequence, but I was like, that was a little weird editing there. Other than that, Jet Li is a great action star, man. He's really good. I liked him in this movie. There was good the fights in the scaffold between the good girl and the hot girl. And yeah. that was a great scene. The, the scene with the car, I thought it was really good. The shootouts was really good. The ending with the bad guy was a great fight. Like overall, this movie's action packed. And I'm not lying to you. This is from beginning to end action packed movie. And I liked it. I was like, I was drawn in. I was like, this was good. It was very over the top. Think of a superhero movie because he is walking through. I mean, he has stabbed and he's still whooping ass but he's bleeding out but I thought it was really good the explosion with his friend like that scene was really good so I'm gonna let you elaborate more but I give it a five I think it had great I mean perfect action okay I like that I like your score I have a different score <laughs> oh, I figured yeah I figured that I, I I don't disagree with you though I, I don't I don't really disagree with you here's my here's my take on it this movie I believe this movie especially the action will hit for some people the way it hit for you and will hit for 
for some people, maybe the way it hit for me. I think there is a lot of action and there's some sequences I do really enjoy. I agree with you. I think the opening is awesome. Okay. Like the opening scene where he's escaping that facility. There's just like a million machine guns. People are getting shot. Like this movie's really bloody too. It's rated, definitely rated R. Like people's hands get chopped off and bullets are, blood is spraying out and everything like that. You're right. The scene, the choreography of it's a little weird. Like he's in this basket, but then like the visual of it is cool where it's like spinning and like bullets are yeah. flying off of it. Also, then he runs and like slides for like a, a thousand feet. Somehow he's just like, Shh. I'm like what is what is going on here? Is this yeah, I agree. Filled with yeah, oil. I agree. Or yeah, I <laughs> Why is it I so slick? With you. Um, yeah. So that was kind of weird. Uh, also, there's like a tank right at the beginning. Like this movie it shot the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so starts off literally with a bang. There's like a tank shoot. I'm like, what in the heck is going on? But I was here for it. This is a wire work movie. You know, there's definitely wires, and uh, a couple times you could see the wires, which that's on the director. Oh, you got to get them things out of there. There's one part where he like comes down and lands and uh, you could just clearly see the wires and I'm like, I don't like that. But the reason, I, I gave it a four. Don't get, I didn't want people to think I was going to go like two or something. I did give it a four because there's a lot and I would say 75% of it's really good. But that other 25, it's too silly and I don't know why. Yeah. And while it works in like police story, for example, because the whole movie has an intentional comedic tone, this one seems like it's trying to be serious. Like this is like a serious, you know, R-rated action movie. Besides the parts with the girl where she's like tied up, she's like, I'm going to cook. Why'd you make this? This was disgusting. Ah. That's like how the dub is, by the way. It's that bad. <laughs> and she's playing video games with her hands backwards. Hey, what are we gonna do? Ah. Like that. Those parts were funny, I guess, intentional. But everything else was serious. But then these actions, like the guy, the white guy, which, by the way, that was a guy from Mortal Kombat Two. Mm. That bald guy, he's a Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat 2, which we'll be reviewing in the future, which is horrible. And he gets like, he's holding on to the guy and the guy chops off his arm and he gets stuck. I'm like, I'm like, this is stupid. So there's just like one too many stupid moments. But again, I think I could... S- I 100% could see the five for this. Uh, I don't I, I don't have a problem with it. I gave it a four because there was, there was a couple parts that were making me mad. I was like, this is... But there's also a lot of parts that I thought were cool. So, you know, a little bit of a mixed bag, but I still gave it a four. <laughs> okay, storyline. <laughs> what did you think of the storyline? I'm going to be really honest with you here, Nate. Maybe the story is good. <laughs> But they did it. Uh, no, no, I'm being, I'm being a hundred percent honest Maybe with you. Maybe it's good. It may be, it could be good to someone who could understand this because honestly, I was literally lost from the beginning of this film. I gave it a two <laughs> for a decent. And the only reason I gave it a two because the explanation was not there. Yeah. It was not explained well in the dub. Even if you're one of those that could watch the imagery and go, oh, I don't understand. Like, like when I saw Godzilla minus one, I didn't need to read the subtitles because I could follow the acting and be like, I can't understand what's going on. Mm-hmm. This one, I couldn't. I did not know what was what was the villain's point of view. What was the villain's plot? What was his mastermind? Jet Li, like, what was his doing? Like, what was, like, so much wise. And I felt like there is an answer an answer somewhere in there I just can't find it with the English dub <laughs> I'm being honest I can't find it with the dub I might rewatch the director's cut but in the actual language and read it because I bet I'll get more out of it than the English so with that said and I got eight versions of it so I can find one of them that can explain it right yeah. <laughs> so anyway with that said I gave it a two for decent all right I wrote down here a two I gave it a two. Okay. No, I didn't like it. I didn't like the story. I think it's too convoluted. I think it's weird. Okay. If we're boiling it down to the basic premise, I'll agree with you. I think it's pretty good. Super soldiers, all that kind of stuff. You know, like it's not new. We've seen movies like this. Universal Soldier, for example, which mm-hmm. came out before this movie. This is not a new concept. Captain America, the comic book from written, you know, whatever, 70 years ago. This is not a new idea, but the execution of this version of it, I don't like. I, I don't think it's very good. Uh, again, I don't know what the villains are like really trying to do. It's not super clear. This guy, Jet Li's like, I feel like they rush through some of that stuff. Like of, okay, he escapes this facility, all this stuff. And then he's just normal. He's just a normal guy. They don't really delve into it too much. The only thing you get between him and the hot chick is like, you get the flashback where he's like, all right, 
I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do whatever. And you know, they knew each other, but they seem like they were really tight. If it's his sister, yeah. they definitely don't do a good job of explaining that. And if it's not his sister and they're just like really good friends, they also don't do a good job of giving you any backstory to it. So, you know, and she stabs the crap out of him. Like she's, she's willing to kill him. He's like, what's going on? Why is he the only one that doesn't want to do bad stuff? And everyone else is just like robots to the vampire guy. So there's like a lot of that kind of stuff. Also, there's a lot of like technology stuff in here that is aged poorly as far as like, you know, some of the stuff they're doing. So I don't know. I, I didn't really like it either. I'm, I'm right there with it. I don't think this movie has aged well, I think is what I'm trying to get at. I do not. I think in 1996, this, this is one of those movies like, you ever seen the movie with Sandra Bullock called The Net? No. Okay. It's a thriller. It's about literally the, like the internet, but it came out in the mid nineties. And at the time it was, it worked and you watch that now and it's like, it's terrible. It's like, no, Oh, this is silly. I feel it was the same way about this. Like this in 96 was probably like really cool, but now it's not aged mm. as well. So two for you, two for me. What's your overall score? Okay. So, you know, it's weird to say this, but for lack of storytelling, I kind of enjoyed it for what it was. It, it, like I enjoyed it. It's a superhero movie. There was a lot of wrong meaning storyline wise. Like we did not know what was going on, but honestly at, at the end of the, everything, like Nate said, it's very outdated, but I enjoyed to watch. I thought it was really fun and I enjoyed it for what it was. I giving I'm giving it a three. I think it's a good movie. I'm keeping my movie. I mean, I paid 33, but I honestly think I could rewatch this again. Like if I'm if I'm doing anything, I could put on another version of this film. But I think it's a good solid movie. I just think the way they st- told the story in the English dub did not fit and worked well. But other than that, action was perfect and Jet Li was great in this. So I give it a three. All right. I did. I ended up not liking the movie overall. And you know what else? There's another one where like my Blu-ray lied. The back of the box says it's 102 minutes and then you watch it and it's only 90. So it's the reverse of police story. Like it's shorter than it, the mm. box says it is. So I was like, okay, that's weird. Also, I, I can only review the version I watched. I hate the soundtrack. Like the music is awful. The dub is awful. I did not have the option to watch it, like to get the performances properly with the with the with the subtitles. I did not. I didn't have a good time. Like I was, I was like, okay, these action scenes are pretty good, but I'm ready for this movie to be over. There's a lot of goofy crap in it. Like I, I, I like, I agree with you with the part with the car, like where the guy's talking. I'm like, okay, that's cool. But then like, what happens after with like the little CGI thing that goes around the car, like the Batmobile or whatever? And then they, uh, I don't know. I just was like, this is stupid. The characters, I liked Jet Li. I feel like most of the other characters are kind of undercooked. Again, the relationship with the girl, undercooked. I don't know. I thought I was going to like this. I thought I was going to like this more than I ultimately did. I ended up giving it a two overall. Oh, wow. And I will say, your ver- your Blu-ray might have a version that I like better on it. Yeah. This version, I don't really like. So I think people, and I know, I this movie, I do know people who like it. Unlike Police Story, I know people who really like Black Mask, but it's definitely a, like a cult movie because there's a lot of problems. I could totally see this. Fi- now that I've watched it, that 50-50, I totally oh, yeah. get it. I totally get it. I would fall on the side of the 50 who didn't really love it, but I, I could see the cult status of it, but it's not a movie... F- this is not my style of action movie. A little too cheesy. Uh, a little. I do like some cheesy movies, but a little too corny, a little, a little too goofy, but trying to be serious. So ultimately, it fell flat for me, but I do think maybe one of the original versions or the director's cut or something, I might like better. But we'll see. Maybe I'll get that one day and watch it and, and, and uh, maybe revisit Maybe wait on the this. sale or your, your bookshelf. Uh, what is it? Your bookstore. Oh, yeah. Because this one's going right back to the bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you said that one back to I'm get the other version. I'm taking it back and then maybe someone traded the other one and I'll get their version. This I got yeah. this at the bookstore for like $6. So it's going right back to Not the bad. Book. Nah. I had credit. I really paid zero for it. But trading it back in, I'm, like, I can't, I'm never going to watch this version again i don't see why all right what is your uh, total points 17 out of a 25 i have a 15 so we're close okay we're close yeah this is okay this is an i'll say an okay start to jet lee month action wise it was good but story wise not the best we're gonna see if it gets better now next week we will be reviewing police story 3 super cop that'll be our franchise movie and then our next jet lee movie is a little movie called unleashed from Louis Leterrier, a director I like pretty good, and starring Jet Li, of course, Bob Hoskins, Ooh. and uh, I'm pretty sure Morgan Freeman is in that movie as well. So some some actors. This is an American movie, not a not a Hong Kong movie. So yeah, we're gonna get into a uh, into his uh, one of his American films from the 2000s. You guys want to follow us in our social media accounts? Please follow Nate over on Instagram at Netflix Reviews. Check out the podcast with him and his friends called Netflix Movie Reviews. Anything AMG podcast, you can follow us on Instagram at Geeks and Flicks or on our 
our YouTube channel. We have the Action Movie Guys YouTube channel. You guys can listen to all the episodes there on the YouTube channel. Subscribe, leave some comments. And of course, you can take us on the go with YouTube Music. If you guys have that, you can check out Action Movie Guys there or on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, (laughs) iHeartRadio, iHeartRadio, any of the uh, platforms for podcasts. Other than that, he is your host, Nate from Netflix Reviews. I'm his co-host, Alex Figueroa. Be awesome to each other and geek out. We'll be right back. 